for triathletes, one goal, competing at the Ironman World Championships. We provide the best coaching and equipment. See what happens next. In episode two, coach Tim Dong goes all in, putting the athletes through a pre-dawn swim, a run, and a test ride on their new specialized shivs. It's 5 a.m. in the morning. I'm having a little bit of some jet lag. Now we are having a little swim session. I'm really looking forward for the next days and hope to have a good time. Stay tuned. 6 a.m. Quite early. Very wide awake. I'm very cold, hence all the hat. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, you're wide awake. We've got training to do. Yeah. Train hard, win easy, guys. <laughs> we have got 15 100s at race pace with about 20 seconds rest. And then we've got a pool set afterwards, a couple of 500 meters with band. And then, of course, a big breakfast. When you've got 800 meters to go of an Ironman, you'll find out in a couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, when you're fatigued, you might have to go, you know, just pick it up a bit, so yeah, really change the pace. And if you don't have a band on, we're getting the tubes off JB today. And we'll, cut, <laughs> we'll cut them up for everyone. <laughs> I think the addictive part of Ironman is, is that finish line moment. Like you put so much into getting there. I mean, typically for people, it's a, it's a pretty lengthy um, process to get to that point. And, and uh, you make a lot of sacrifice and you know your relationships to take time away to train and I think there's just like a lot of emotion in that moment so I think that's what makes you come back for more. That's sick. <laughs> I'll call on this I don't know. <laughs> so you see me off the back. <laughs> or you'll be going I'm in terrible shape. <laughs> to be selected for this you know I don't I don't want to let these guys down because they put so much effort and energy into me and to everything that they're doing. You know, I, I just want to do them proud. So yeah, I think my biggest fear would be, you know, letting other people down and then not performing on the day. So I just want to do my best for them. Yeah, I know she's looking good, she's looking sharp. I feel the energy. Yeah, just lovely two hours in the mountains of California. Will be will be a good ride with a lots lots of good people. Okay, I'm gonna go towards the back for this. You guys go. Oh yeah, it is really fast. It's so windy. I just don't know the road, so I don't like to be by people on a new bike. <laughs> so I just kept my space. You wanna race? Ah! My experiences of finishing an Ironman or crossing the finish line, I would say it's really emotional um, moment because you're just completely empty, um, you're mentally crushed, something that you cannot put into words. I train my mind um, by doing not too much races, so I'm very hungry to do a race. I'm an athlete who doesn't do a lot of competition. I, I feel like I need uh, a lot of time to have the recuperation after a race. One of my biggest talents is that I can I, I can suffer like a like an animal, as, as they say. We won. Equally, Correct, maybe equal. Yeah, maybe equal. I don't know. Bikes are fast. <laughs> Golo like goes off the front and he comes back, and he's like, "It's so fast." And I was like, "What the descent?" And he goes, "No, the bike." <laughs> I actually hate open water swimming. <laughs> Join us for episode three, as the athletes test out their new Roka wetsuits and stare down their fears with an open water swim.